Hey everybody, we're going to be working um, with the Pro Group tomorrow on a Zap Day, which is Zoom and Paint, where uh, a lot of our members are going to get together uh, three different time periods for two hours each. We're going to paint together, and this is the painting that I decided that I want to work on. I started this in a different session with uh, some Pro uh, Admin artists, and I want to continue with it, but before I can work into this, I've decided that I'm going to move into cold wax and oil after starting this with acrylic and basic mark making tools. Some of them are water soluble. So, and even the ink that I used on here, black ink, black India ink, it said that it was waterproof. But uh, what I wanted to do is start applying this clear gesso. And when I started to put it on there, it started to, uh, the ink started to come loose. And you know what that's like when you've got water soluble things on there and they start to smear. So, in order for me to stop this from smearing before I move into cold wax and oil and putting on this, you know, a lot of the clear gesso, I'm starting to just put on thin bits of clear gesso using wax paper. So I just wanted to show you how I do that. I get a sheet of wax paper like this and then put some of the clear gesso on there. It doesn't actually have to be clear gesso. It could actually be polymer medium or anything to really lock in the marks that are water soluble. Uh, so in this case, so I'm the reason I'm putting on wax paper so I can see through it and I can gauge how thick this is. The idea is to put on an initial thin layer of this and lock in those uh, water soluble dry marks and the ink so that I can then put on a little bit thicker layer of this Liquitex clear gesso and move into cold wax and oil tomorrow. So I'm just putting this on the wax paper and then I just lift it up and find an area. I've already done like this section here. So I'm going to start at the top like this and just press it down without moving it. And because it's wax paper, I can see through it and I can make sure that, you know, there's no funny texture going on with the clear gesso. I can move my hand like this get all the bubbles out and you know, I don't want to manipulate it too much. I just want to get a layer on here and then lift this off. Okay. And there's the wax paper. I can, I can use that again. So I'll just move it down to the next portion of the painting. I can see where the clear gesso is. It'll dry clear. Keep doing that until I run out of the clear gesso on the wax paper. I could be using a fixative, but fixatives require really heavy ventilation and they're much more hazardous to your health. So I prefer this sort of thin layer and you put it on top, you blot it, and then you lift it and let it dry. And if, if it takes multiple layers, you always want to test it before you go in with anything that might be like acrylic that might make some of these um, water soluble dry marks run or blur. Uh, so it's just good to test it before you're actually ready to go back into your water media. So I hope that helps. I'm going to uh, treat the entire surface like this. see exactly where I left off because uh, it hasn't dried yet so I can see it. And you can see on my wax paper here there isn't any residual dry mark making material that's coming off. It's just fine. And when this all dries, um, right now it's a little bit cloudy, but when it all dries, it should be just fine because it does dry clear. You don't have to use wax paper. You could use freezer paper, the shiny side. Uh, you could use tracing paper, I think. You could use 
palette paper, anything that's kind of slick. But I, I don't, anything without texture, because when you apply this, you don't want to have like the texture of a paper towel or something like that. That's why I like the smooth surface of wax paper and being able to see through it a little bit. It's all good. using this one sheet of wax paper over and over again, but I think it's getting a little bit thin and I'm not sure I can trust it to not tear. So I got through much of it, but another sheet here. And again, you could be locking this in with polymer medium. You don't have to use uh, gesso. Clear gesso, but I'm using clear gesso because I'm going to be moving into cold wax and oil with this painting. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and see if it needs another coat, uh, put something wet on the black ink and see if it runs. And if it doesn't, then I might apply a little bit thicker coat of this. Again, this is Liquitex Clear Gesso and uh, I don't know too many companies that make this. Uh, Liquitex is like the only one that I use, so but I'm sure there might be others out there. Okay, thanks everyone.